Hi, my name's Mike, and today I've got two major words uh, today to share. Um, one of them is from uh, the Holy Spirit Wind site, uh, jo- uh, Brother uh, Jeff Biley, and the other one is from Brother Stephen Hansen. Okay, the first one is from Stephen Hansen. It's on the Prophecy 444 news site. It's called A Great Herd is Coming from the East. It was given on May the 17th, 2019. This is the message. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind and will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in that day of trouble they shall be against her around about. That's Jeremiah 51, 1 and 2. So it's Jeremiah 51, 1 and 2. This is the word given. The word, the world is racing towards judgment, says the Lord. When black is declared as white and white is declared as black, then you know that the time is near for the end of all things. A great herd is coming from the east. They will come through your northern passage. For when your eyes are diverted elsewhere, then the enemy makes his plan. When the land will heave, hear the approach of hoofbeats, but secretly they will come through that northern passage. Your land will be taken by surprise. The leaders of the East have been devising this plan for many years. They have wanted, waited until the time is ripe, for China and Russia will have joined forces on that day. This has been sent to you as a warning. Get your houses in order. Those who have heard my voice will be prepared for then many will travel to the wastelands and other places to find shelter. In its time I will hasten it. That's the end of the message for that one. I just wanted to, before I read the next message uh, given to Brother Jeff Barley, um, many of you probably know that uh, the United States uh, has sent a US aircraft carrier, a strike group, uh, with a ship called the Abraham Lincoln. Uh, into the Middle East area and um, uh, Iran says that it, it has um, missiles that can easily hit at this ship, this large uh, Abraham Lincoln US air carrier. Um, and a news article from the Daily Ma- Mail UK, um, they say that Iran has missiles that can easily hit that. The reason I mention Abraham Lincoln is because that, that name is mentioned in, in the next word given to uh, Brother Jeff Barley. Uh, you can view his uh, words on the Holy Spirit Wind site or um, the Prophecy 444 News site. It was received on the 11th of May through to the 17th of May. Also, I recommend that you view uh, the God Sealer 7 site. Height site. Um, Sister Barbara Francis has a word there as well called Women of Babylon, USA, Prepare for War. So this is the word given to Brother Jeff Biley, Holy Spirit Wind site, and it's and this is how it begins. Um, this is for all with eyes to see and ears to hear. War has come and will come in an ever greater intensity. War will not be turned back. Now for it is time. Do not be confused by those proclaiming false peace, for war must come. It is written, and if you want to uh, read Revelation chapters 6, 1 to 8, the seals, and uh, as you read there, it's about war, famine, pestilence, etc. The enemy knows that it is written even before the most, the enemy knows that it is written even better than most of you do, and he will do all that I allow him to do. He will be used to try the world and even most of my people. He knows his time is short. This is the time of separation between the wheat and the tares. The righteous will shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. The evil plans of Babylon, the great, are now being allowed to go forward. Now, do not be deceived by things you read and hear. Everything is not as it seems. Deception is at every turn. America, your leaders have taken you down the wide path that leads to destruction. And most 
of you don't know it, and even if you did, most would not even care as long as they keep their easy lifestyle of greed and excess in a land of plenty. This all shall soon end. Strong is the God who judges you. America, I no longer fight for you or protect your military endeavours and conquests. You have had your way with the weaker nations you seek to control, now are backed by the ones who will unseat you from your throne. O oh, Queen of Nations, your deceitful ways have been uncovered and you will be stripped naked for all to see. Your false flags only fool the blind and deaf of your nation but your enemies see the truth and they will have their way with you. If you want to check out my false flags video, you can see a bit more about what it's talking about here. Uh, America, there is no coincidence concerning the names of the ships, Abraham Lincoln and Ronald Reagan. They will suffer the same fates as their namesakes. When you see this, you will know that all I have spoken is true. And it carries on. And that complete destruction is coming to the once greatest nation of all. You will become lowest of all because you have turned your back on me, your first love. Cry, weep and wail, my remnant bride in America. Don sackcloth and put ashes on your head in travail. For soon this wor word will be fulfilled. Do not ask me to take this judgment away, for it has been set for many years now. And you can check out the Albert Pike um, letter about World War Three. They've been planning this a long time. Instead, cry out for my mercy in the judgment and that the hardened hearts will be softened and that the stiff necked will fall on their knees in repentance to me, that I may save them. I take no joy in the destruction of the wicked, but I would that all would cleanse themselves in the blood that I willingly shed for them. Without my judgments upon America and the world, almost all would be damned to hell. But because of my redemptive plan, millions should be brought into my kingdom. And that uh, carries on, sorry. My remnant bride, you will see things that you hoped and prayed you wouldn't, but take heart, it won't be for long. When you see these things, you will know your redemption draws nigh and that the great harvest end time is at hand. Spend time with me in your secret places for there you will be filled with the oil and new wine of my spirit. And it talks about all, do not harm the oil in the wine in Revelation 6.6. 6. Wash yourselves with the water of my word that will res resurrect your dry bones and bring life back to in, on, into you. I will make for you streams in the desert and an oasis in the midst of the dry wilderness. You will do nothing on your own strength but mine. I will be with you always, just as I promised. Even in the midst of persecution and when you face death, then I will give you extra grace. You must not fear or despair, but have faith in me, for I do not lie. My chosen ones shall not be harmed, and they will shine for the whole world to see. My chosen ones will do work in this time that you won't believe if you were told. It all comes suddenly, but you have been told ahead of time. The former and later rains are coming at the same time. Be ready to receive it. I love you all and will be with me soon. Yeshua, Jesus. Um, that's the end of the message. Anyone out there who hasn't come to Lord Jesus, please do so now as time is running out. God bless you all. Bye-bye.